Now keyboard shortcuts are very useful especially when working with large documents they help you work a lot faster and as you know to insert a new page the keyboard shortcut is control enter so for example if we go down here I'm uh, sort of halfway down page two and I want this uh, paragraph to start on a new page I press control enter on my keyboard and I now have a new paragraph. Now a lot of people might go here and they, they don't see anything. They don't know what's going on and then they scroll down and then there's more content. So it's also very helpful and this will always help you in exams to go to your home tab, go to your paragraph group and switch on your show and hide formatting tool, switch that on. So now you can see, have a look here, you can actually see there is a page break right there. So we have our somebody pressed enter here and then we have a page break and then it continued on the next page so when in doubt switch on the show and hide formatting that'll tell you uh, if, if something has been formatted that you is invisible until you switch that on okay another thing that we're also going to look at is page numbers and line numbers now page numbers is very easy let me just scroll out a bit here we can go to insert and we can choose page numbers we go to our header and footer page number top of the page bottom of the page we can choose I've never used numbers in the page margins before but there they are so let's go to the bottom of the page bottom of the page or bottom and we'll put it right in the center just like that so click Kaboom, there it is down there in the footer I can see I've still got my formatting on there if I click on number two, it's got this like little highlighted gray background. That means it's actually a field. And I know that because if I right click on it, edit field, update field. So there you go. So that just is a little bit of information for you that you might need to know. So again, we just click off of that. There we go. Now line numbers are a little bit hectic, but um, useful. Turn that off. Useful for things like poems and stuff, you know, where they put numbers by the lines I mean I haven't read a poem in ages so uh, where was I layout line numbers continuous and there you have your line numbers pretty pretty handy actually you can also insert a couple of other types of breaks let's switch off line numbers so we don't get too confused here zoom back to a hundred let's have a look so in my layout tab here is my page setup group breaks now there's two sections here okay for lack of a better word a normal page break is over here a column break is what we'll use when we do columns so not in this lesson text wrapping is how text wraps around various objects okay more for website stuff so I wouldn't even I wouldn't use that and I would never use word to do a website okay don't even think about it another place to actually put in a, a new page I'll show you here so let's go to that paragraph is on insert insert and check here pages cover page blank page and a page break you can actually click page break it does it there but you know what quickest way control enter sorted 